I thought I had lost you to Kuro's talons of hate, but it was Gumo who saved you, delivering us from an uncertain fate. But look here, with the Ginzo tree restored, Nabel's waters are clear. But there's no time to lose. We must make haste. The element of wind's next, resting deep within the forlorn ruins. Inside the misty woods, there's a key that will open their gates. So we have to go to the Misty Woods next, but first... Gumo. Buddy. <laughs> oh my god, I love you! He is so freaking sweet! But with the Ginzo tree restored, so are all the waters in the belt. Look at this! We can swim! Oh my god! And something that I often forget, you can attack underwater. So, uh, that's very useful to know. For some reason, I keep thinking, no, you can't do that. No, you can. Sign attacks for you. Why does it matter? Looking at the ability tree, now is the best time to have water breath. The waters are clear. This is going to be when it's going to be most useful. So I really do recommend going for that path. But there's little pockets of air around here. And, oh, it's just so nice when you get killed by a fish. Anyway, something I actually want to point out is the song that's playing right now. It's very important because it's the first song you hear after the water's clear and you're finally able to swim. They wanted to fill the player with a sense of serenity, so this score was inspired by Finding Nemo. It's a very beautiful track. Have a listen. It's, it's just so beautiful. I love the soundtrack of this game. Anyways, oh, we have a map stone fragment down here. I was just swimming to see what was there. I forgot that that's that was there. All right, time to time this with the, with the crushers because now we have our, our keystones and our map stone fragment. It is time to head back up. It kind of sucks that if you don't have water breath, you have to traverse through spikes in order to get air. That's a bit of a pain, but the little sound Ori makes is adorable. But we go through here. Oh, that's right. There's something through here. Swim fast. Yeah, there we go. And we got that. Just setting a save point. Always just in case. I'm doing good swimming through the spikes. So I think I think I can make it all the way to the surface without drowning. I think I can. I think I can. And yep, definitely safe. All right, great. And look, if we stand under this rainbow, or under this waterfall, there's a little rainbow that's very cute. But, oh, no beetle. <laughs> Cutscene get ya. I might die. Hmm, if if I if I hit B, I might immediately. <laughs> I did not think that through. Die. I didn't mean me. Oh, there, oh, there's a secret up here? We can't get this. <laughs> Come on. Oh! I need more health. I just, I just need more health. Is there any health around here? No, there's not. Well, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm so screwed. Come on, just a slither of health left. There we go. Now I can insert the map stone fragment. That was convoluted. There we go. Now we can see where everything goes. Awesome. Cool. And of course, we have our keystones. 
can't, you can hardly see the soul link out of the waterfall. That's so cool. God, this area is so beautiful. Oh, I love the graphics of this game so much. The art style is so beautiful. And actually, I guess something I can point out right now is that when it came to the art style, they took a design kind of known as the multiplane camera, which, you know, there's the foreground, background, and the middle ground. And, of course, you know, it's kind of called that because after old, you know, animated cartoons that were hand-drawn, they used to do a multi-plane camera thing. There's a there's an enemy door there? Why is there an enemy door? So this is the enemy I have to kill to open that door. But anyways, the multi-plane camera, you can definitely see that with the, with the game. But, oh, no, that isn't the enemy I have to kill. Well, then what do I have to kill? What do I have to kill? Oh, God. Don't kill me. <laughs> Something I do want to point out is something I, I really noticed and I I very much so love about this game is that with the whole multiplane camera effect that it does, you can see the background is kind of light and faded, the foreground is dark, and of course the middle ground is normal colored. This makes things a lot easier to tell the difference between the foreground and the background. I don't have problems distinguishing what's foreground from background in this game. Half the time when I'm playing other games, it's like, well, I don't know if this is if this part of the background. I always get somewhat confused with stuff like that. But I don't have that issue in this game because it just, it works so well and they do such a good job of making sure the planes are all different enough. Anyways, though, we have another ancestral tree here. Elo was the stoutest of the spirits, the most powerful ever seen. Now here he rests, turned into an ancestral tree. Absorbing more power, we get... Stomp! To use ability, press A to leap in the air and then down to dive powerfully towards the ground. We get essentially a ground pound. Ori can now do damage without signs help. And, uh, ooh. Yeah, I said I was gonna go for some of the other stuff. Um, I, I, I think we need this. I, I, we need this. Anyways, uh, now if we go out here, let's head up. And I don't think this mole wants to, or this, this mortar worm wants to poke its head out. But, ooh. We have this right here, a little switch. We can now pound it into the ground and open up the way, which is cool. Anyways, there is something up there. I I think we can get it. If the... Maybe not. <laughs> the mortar worm doesn't seem to want to come up. If it, if it shoots, I could, I could totally get it up there, but it doesn't want to. So, uh, I guess we'll have to come back. That's another collectible we'll have to come back for later. Oh. Oh, with this stomp, we can destroy the armor and kill the rammer beetles very easily. This ability is so nice. Oh my god. Uh, there's also this little area here. We can do this now, I think. I think. I just have to find where the, the switch is. Oh wait, no we can't. Never mind. I just remembered what the switch is, and it's for an ability we don't have. But man, now with Stomp, so many things have opened up to us. So many floors we can destroy. You know, Stomp and Bash, we are just going to be living it. Hey, look, I can kill you now. I can, like, I think I just stomped on his head. That was great. Absolutely great. Let's see, I, can we, yeah, we can't stomp underwater, though. So there's, there's this little puzzle around here. If we go up, now we can boom, get another ability cell, and we, we can't go up there, so I guess it might have been a little pointless. But, uh, ooh, do you guys notice that? There's a little Triforce carved into that tree. So that is one of the many Easter eggs in this game. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to showcase all the ones that are known. But, um, the fact of the matter is, there are still Easter eggs in this game that aren't known. 
So, the devs put in tons of nods towards other games and franchises they enjoy, and all we really know is they've teased some Easter eggs that haven't been found. Like, apparently there's a Star Wars one somewhere. People have gone on hunts for it and still have found nothing. So, they're all pretty well hidden. Okay, I actually, I think we can do this now. I don't know why I didn't think so before. Charge flame it. Boom. Now this area filled up with water and the top part drains. So, now we can get up here and grab this small spirit light container. And you respawned again, oh my god. But now we can stomp through here and we are getting back to the regular path, if you can see on the map. Get some more energy while I'm right here. Just hop over here, all, all the thorns. Stomp. Hey, you're no problem for me now. Look how fast everything dies. Ooh, secret here. And it's another, why did I do that? Uh, it's just another one of these things. I really don't, okay. I don't actually know if I can get this. I actually don't know if I can get this. Can I get over? Oh, there we go. Blow it up. I still don't know what these things are supposed to do, but we can see the Moon Grotto Spirit Well over there. You know what? I'm good. <laughs> these things respawn. They're not a collectible by any means, but uh, I got it. Good enough for me. Anyways, you want fire? We can use Bash to cross over here. Very nice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see something up there. Hello. There we go. Great, cool. So, now that we are fully back on the main path over here. Yes, this can also hurt enemies on the ceiling. It's so good. All right. Moon Grotto Spirit Well. With these very useful new abilities and the waters purified, so much stuff has opened up to us. So we are going to spend some time going back and grabbing some collectibles we couldn't get before. I don't really recommend doing this now unless you're just passing by them because it's a little out of the way and frankly, I think the game might be more fun the less things you collect because, you know, then you're not as overpowered, but... I want to go ahead and show these, so we are going to go around and grab them. First, we just have this little spirit light container, which is right across from the spirit well. We could have gotten this earlier, just needs wall jump and double jump. Over here in this little offshoot, the water is now purified, and we can get that spirit light container. Down this little shaft that the Goomon dropped us down, I think we could have gotten this way sooner, we got another ability cell. While we were in the area, I thought I might go back and re-explore this area since I died and it didn't count, but um, the lasers turned back on and the other rock didn't respawn up here. So I think we might just have gotten screwed out of ever getting a 100% map completion in the Moon Grotto because we can't visit over there again. Cause this stuff, Insta death. So yeah. But with the waters purified, of course, can get more spirit light down there. And oh, also up on this wall, because we now have double jump. We can grab this. And if we lure this spitter over here, we can use bash. Come on, to get up this shaft where there is a life cell. All right, now if you remember this little room that we couldn't do before, well, we have Bash now. So we can go up here and grab this life cell. That's over here in case you forgot. <laughs> now over here in Thornfelt Swamp, you can just barely reach this wall with double jump but getting up here rewards you with a life cell. Oh, I don't think we've been over here before. I don't think we have. 
Anyways, there's a small spirit-like container. And if we go over here, we can see where we got that, I think it was an ability cell a little bit earlier. So cool. And now that we have Bash, we can get up here using the Mortar Worms to get another ability cell. If I don't die first, please let me up. There we go. And up here, above them, we just have another one of these, but I don't have any energy. So, uh, yeah. Bash off these little green lanterns. Who do you think you are with health bars? Over here by the entrance to Moon Grotto, there's a spirit light container that we can get now that we have double jump. And also a breakable fl And there's also a... And there's also a breakable floor. Oh my god, that's close. Where there's another one of these things. What do they do? Oh, that was close. So if we get past the laser, we can make our way up here and uh, being very careful, we can go through here and we are at this old map stone in Hollow Grove. Aha. Uh -huh. If I go this way, there is an ability cell. Haha, -ha, I was wondering where that was. And now that we have double jump, if you remember this taunting us a while ago, we can now get this little bit of spirit light over in the moon grotto. Looks like Kuro is still hunting us after the Ginzo tree. But back here in Hollow Grove, this might stand out to you a little bit because this is a stomp switch. So we pull that and it opens up that underwater passage. So now we can go through there if we ignore the spiders and be very careful about our air. We don't have a whole lot to despair in this part. We can get through here. I actually don't need to be careful about my air at all. It's fine. We have another little puzzle room here. Seriously? That hurt me? Okay. So you got that and need stomp to stomp down and quit these lasers. That's gonna charge you. Whatever. Come on. Get on the... Get on the... <laughs> Just hit it. Ori. Okay, now we're on top. Down, block it. Cool. And now we can go a little further. Just blow you out of here. Come on, shoo. I'm trying to grab collectibles right now. I'm in a collectible mindset. And here we have a life cell. Awesome. Where does this lead? Oh, this leads right down where we need to go. Cool. So head down here. Oh, right on top of you. You opened this path for me long ago, but down here we just have some more spirit light. And I still don't have enough energy to open these gates. Hold on. I need to go get energy. All right, now I have enough energy to grab this ability cell. Awesome. There we go. Now if I can get out of here, that'd be great too. Now back here in this room with the spiders, we can make our way up a little bit with, with Bash. Have to be very good with the timing. There we go. And get... Some spirit light up there. That's eight. Awesome. But on the other side, let me just parry off of you. Oh, thank you. Give me a shot. We can go over here and get yet another life cell. We are getting so many life cells. It'd be nice if we got more ability cells. Now up here in the spider's nest, there is this energy door. And if we open it up, Behind it, there is another ability cell. Next, still in Hollow Grove, if you remember, I think we ran into this. There's a little stomp gate here, and if we stomp this down, that opens up the area down below there. It's driving me nuts. I wrote east in my notes. East of the map stone. Because, yeah, I guess... I guess left is east now. 
I am so freaking directionally challenged. Like, like I thought I was going to be able to, to do this and make it easier than left and right. No, no, I still have trouble. <laughs> Anyways, if we go down here through the water, there is an ability cell. Cool beans. You kidding me? As soon as I, as soon as I get the energy and get back down there, I was like getting ready to save and that jumping soot just went, nope. Oh my God, there's another hidden wall with these. Well, too bad, my energy's for the door. Now we can open up this energy door and not have any left to spare or save. That's scary. But uh, yeah, we can't, we can't get to that yet. But now we're back at the beginning of the game where it all started. Back in the Sunken Glades, we have this little bit of water that has now been purified that we can go down and grab this and also see what's over here. Cause I don't actually remember. Oh yes, I need you. We have another energy cell, yes. Back up here, we now have enough energy to get through this energy door. Thank God. Oh, and we have not baby Kuros. They're just, what are they called? Hold on. They just called owls? I think they might just be called owls. Hold on. <laughs> Diving Raven, that's it. Anyways, for this, all you really need is enough energy to open the door. So we just couldn't do this before because we didn't have enough energy. But pushing this through here, we can get the rock out of the way and grab another energy cell. Thank you very much. Energy is very, very useful. And uh, looks like there's some other stuff over here. I don't really know, is it really anything? Let's see, Let's take care of this jumping soot. Yeah, stomp, stomping's so good. Stomping is just so freaking good. Uh, do anything over here? Doesn't really look like, actually maybe. I shouldn't have killed that guy. I could have used him to get back up. Okay, up on this path, there's a spitter. Can we do this right now? Uh, I don't know if we can, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it the old college try. Let's see. I I, I think maybe. Mm, no, no, we can't do this right now. Okay, that's fine. And now below the ancestral tree in Sunken Glades, we have these two jumping soots. Uh, I don't know if you were supposed to come down here. C can you get back up here, please? Hello. I want you to stay over here this time. And now that we have Bash and took a lot of damage, we can get up here and get this ability cell that has been haunting us. Back in the Ginzo tree, we missed some collectibles going up. I wasn't too worried about them because you can go back up and do them at any time without a bunch of terrifying water rushing around you. So this is the best way to do it because if, you, if you're going to do it when the water's going up, Oh boy, <laughs> that's, uh, that's a bit of a pain. And it's very, very difficult. So, it might be worth mentioning though, this is not something you can do in the base game because the Ginzo tree gets sealed off. There's only a few spirit light containers, so it's not anything too big if you miss it either. But, you know, just required for 100%, so. And that should be everything in the Ginzo tree. I'm not entirely sure why it says 97 percent it should say 100 i got all the collectibles in here i think anyways if you're wondering you can't get out the top there's no a blockage so i have to go all the way back down this is bothering me did i miss something without realizing it we have all these ability points this is our last stop i say let's get these things there we go now we should be able to see ability cells on the map and did I, did I miss something? I'm not seeing anything I missed. Then, then, why does it say 97%? I don't know. Well, either way, our ability points were gone very, very quickly. Now, rather than going over to the Misty Woods, we're going to go and have a little bit of a detour. See, now that we have all these abilities, there's a certain thing that we can now accomplish. 
Ori, this statue looks familiar. I've seen it before. Next time on Ori in the Blind Forest, we go through the additional area, Black Root Burrows. So I'll see you in the next one. Later.